well as in terms of philosophy so public choice approach is a philosophical basis it is a philosophical basis for the future developments like new public management so in the coming classes we will talk about new public management all right so for new public management then uh, the concept of liberalization privatization all right so for all these uh, future developments all right public choice theory is the philosophical basis it is the philosophical basis for the latter developments within public administration right so that is the importance of public choice theory so this is the importance of public choice theory so let us talk about so what is this public choice theory all right what is this public choice theory what are the major uh, propositions of public choice theory all right so uh, what is the significance of public choice theory so we'll talk, we'll talk about all these things in this class all right so if we take this public choice theory as a concept it has emerged in 1960s it was coined by vincent uh, vincent ostrom it is vincent ostrom who has coined the term public choice theory all right so in 1968 in 1968 so again we can take back again we can take the same factors as that of new public administration behind the emergence of public choice approach so it is the same factors as that of new public administration all right simply all right it is the failure of traditional public administration it is a failure of traditional public administration right right which led to emergence of public choice theory a traditional public administration a traditional public administration right which is organized which is dominated by weberian bureaucracy which is dominated by bureaucracy is seen as the reason for the failure of public administration so according to proponents of public choice theory it is a traditional bureaucratically organized public administration which is the reason for failure of administration so ultimately the point is towards public administration right so it is because of the failure of traditional public administration so one of the approach that was advocated is what do you call public choice theory in fact it is an economic approach right it is an economic approach for understanding the political process public choice theory is just an economic approach it is an economic approach for understand uh, for studying for understanding the political process that is the political process like political decision making or political policies right it is to understand the political process so here basically it is an approach it is an economic approach applying economics to the study of political process political institution uh, that is public policies so that is what the basic theme of public choice theory all right so according to vincent ostrom according to vincent ostrom all right so this public choice approach this public choice approach provides an important approach it provides an important approach for understanding for studying public administration so it provides an approach it provides an alternate approach for studying the public administration so according to vincent armstrong instead of focusing on instead of focusing on traditional bureaucracies instead of focusing on traditional bureaucracies all right so it should be the focus should be on choice public choice so this is the basic tenant of public choice approach all right so as we know that all right 
in 1940 from 1940s to 1970s almost all every study within public administration it, uh, it is purely based upon bureaucracy so bureaucracy it is centered around bureaucracy so bureaucracy has become the basis for the understanding of administrative systems bureaucracy has become the basis for understanding the public administration but now according to vincent ostrom it should not be traditional bureaucracy it should not be traditional bureaucracy which should be the basis for understanding public administration but it should be the self interest it should be the individual it be, it, uh, it should be the individual who is the end beneficiary it is the individual who is the end beneficiary of the all services so instead of focusing on bureaucracy it should be focused on individual individual who receives individual who receives the benefits of services given by the state so it should be from the perspective of individual there are two things i'll explain in briefly so we have bureaucracy as an institution citizen as an individual so bureaucracy provides services to the citizen all right so here should the study should be uh, sh should the study be based upon understanding of bureaucracy that is the structural the behavioral aspects of bureaucracy or the study of public administration should be based upon the individual who is receiving the benefits what should be the basis for study of public administration or where and what the scholars of public administration should focus on right from 18th century 19th century focus was on understanding analyzing bureaucracy the bureaucratic behavior the structure of bureaucracy so whatever literature that we had whatever theory that we had it is purely centered around bureaucracy right now whether bureaucracy is that efficient institution to provide all the services to the people whether bureaucracy is an efficient instrument in providing services whether bureaucracy will promote efficiency and effectiveness along with economy in providing of services